Today we're going to begin our, um, our, our section on woodcuts and linoleum prints. Uh, they're both relief kinds of prints and we're going to work on several different uh, methods and with slightly different media. They work the same uh, in printing but we'll use slightly different materials as we use them. So we're going to start from the, the stage of the sketch and how we transfer our sketch onto our block. And then uh, we'll also look at the different uh, ways that we can use different colors. We will use a single color, we'll use multiple colors. Sometimes we'll use multiple blocks, but we'll also use uh, the same block with multiple colors. So there's several different ways that, that we'll deal with that. We're going to begin, begin with linoleum because it's the easier form to uh, carve to begin with. And so what you're first going to do is in your, in your sketchbook or on a piece of paper, you're going to come up with uh, your design with a pre-specified uh, size. And so this is a four by four uh, block of linoleum that we will, we will be starting with. And I have a couple different images here. Uh, you need to be able to do your black and white image. So just using a pen or a pencil um, if it's in pencil, it needs to be dark enough so that it can easily be photocopied because we're going to use either a scan from uh, a computer or a photocopy. It has to be toner based uh, for you to be able to transfer it. You can't use a regular inkjet to, uh, to do this transfer. Uh, but you'll, you'll come up with a design like this and from that we're going to uh, make the photocopy. And uh, so here I have uh, the sketch. So we've firmly placed the, the sheet that we have cut out from the photocopy onto our piece of linoleum. So we've copied it off of here, cut it out of here, and now we're going to put the wintergreen oil on it. And you're going to dip it into the wintergreen oil and sh shake out or uh, get most of the wintergreen oil out of there, and then you'll just rub it onto the different areas uh, you'll do it a little bit at a time uh, because it can bleed out if you do the whole thing at one time and it also makes it more slippery because it is an oil. And then you're just going to take your wooden spoon and rub it all around. Um, I'm just going to do a little bit here, but you'll be able to see that then once you've done the whole, the whole image, you take the tape off and the image has transferred from the photocopy onto the linoleum block. Um, then we will take uh, the, the block and just carve away the, the parts that we don't need. And we're going to be using these linoleum cutters like this. There are several different tips to it, and you can use um, whatever tips you feel most comfortable with. Some are V-gouges, some are U-gouges, um, some are knives that you kind of cut from each side. Um, the gouges are probably the easiest to use, and you can get pretty fine lines within them. Okay, so. We have our, our image that's cut out and, uh, and it's ready to be printed. Uh, we also are going to make kind of a little jig for this to go in. So what we'll end up doing is placing this within this area. Having a border on the side gives us a consistent border. This is especially important if we're doing multiple blocks or multiple colors. With doing just the one color, it's not as important, but it does keep it uh, nice and straight as we're doing the printing. So with the, the plate, the linoleum plate or block already inked up with our brayer here, we have the ink on the block. We stick the, the block into our jig here and take a clean piece of paper and line it up on both the top and the side. Uh, remember, this works to create the registration so that multiple colors will all uh, be in the same place. Then you take your spoon the same way that we did before and you just rub around on this area. Um, you may press it down a little bit overall to begin with because the stickiness of the ink will keep the paper in place. And then we use quite a bit of pressure with our hand and on the spoon there. And then we will end up taking the paper off of here. And once we've rubbed thoroughly, we will pull the paper back and we'll have a print of that image right on our... We will... Okay, so that's a, a very basic beginning of how we're going to print both in black and white. We've learned how we're going to transfer the images. 
uh, how we're going to work with multiple blocks and how we'll work with one block with multiple colors of that. But we have a whole range of uh, ways that we can print with this. It all works in essentially the same way. 